Hello everybody, welcome to Coding with Kyle, and we're back with another video. Uh, the next student in line is Adeline, so let's look at Adeline's feature for her game. Uh, again, the feature of keeping score programmed into the stage, so we, uh, we are actually created the keeping score feature. Note with Adeline, she wants to change score by every one second and then speed up, so we had, uh, got over in class uh, how to do that to make some of those modifications to her score function. Uh, so next project is Amelia's and we got speed boost. All right, so speed. Uh, with the speed, you can accelerate three times faster to escape the murder or a suspect, or the murderer or a suspect. Ooh. Uh, but beware your power is limited. You will only have 10 seconds to use your power and you can only use it once every round. So use it carefully. Okay, interesting. So, oh, okay, cool. So we're gonna start programming. Yep, it'll be something in the character sprite. Uh, we're also gonna need, oh, it's not like a buff you pick up. It's just an ability that the character has. So yep, it'll be in the character sprite and set the, uh, the X velocity to five, yep, forever. And then we'll basically wanna change X by uh, whatever velocity for the speed boost. Uh, oh, and she's got a function here. Nice. All right, so set x velocity to x velocity times 0.98 uh, to go back. Okay, so this is good. This is good uh, math, good thinking about this uh, logically already. So let's go over uh, how to make that. Uh, so if you've been following along, this is the uh, kind of video game that I've been working on. Uh, just it has a, it's not actually a video game. It is just all of the features uh, thrown in here. Uh, so what we need is the player. So right now, the player moves uh, back and forth. That's normal with the A and D key, changing X by 10. Uh, our space is this dodge action. And what we want to do is add a uh, speed, speed boost, right? So three times faster. Okay. So in Amelia's game, she's probably going to use this maybe as the space key or uh, whichever key she wants to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out this dodge section and we're gonna use the space key uh, to speed up. Uh, okay, so this is what we need to do. We need to change the speed, this number here. And because there's two different code blocks that are gonna access this speed, that means we need to change it and make it a variable. So we want to change X by, this needs to be a number that we control outside of just hard coding it in. So we do that by creating variables. Variables are just named values and the value is gonna be speed. So we're gonna make a variable called speed and uh, it can be for all sprites or we can do it for this sprite only maybe. Let's do it for this sprite only because it only concerns the player sprite. So we click okay and now we have speed here and in the backdrop, I'm just gonna add when the green flag is, is clicked, we want to uh, just hide the speed variable, right? We don't need, uh, oh, we can't see it because it's in the, uh, in the player. So we actually have to do that in the player code. Uh, so in the player code, when the green flag is pressed, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and add uh, hide the speed and this will make sure that when we click the green flag uh, it's no longer up here at the top because uh, we don't want the player to be able to see the speed the only thing we probably want the player to see is their score um, okay so when the space key is pressed what we're going to do is we need to change the speed so the speed needs to go uh, to be three times greater and we should be able to do some math here of three times, but if not, uh, we can just set a number. Okay, here we go, boom, three times greater. So watch this, so uh, that star is the multiplication symbol. So exactly as Amelia saying here, three times faster. So change my variable by three times uh, the speed. And we do have one problem uh, which is that we need to set speed to something. So speed right now is 10, okay? So what we need to do when the green flag is pressed, we hide the speed variable, and we need to set the character's default speed. So we set their default speed 
to 10 and maybe uh, and or we could do 20 or whatever uh, yeah let's do 20 10 is like what we always do right so let's do 20 and then we'll see that when it's times 3 it'll be 3 times 20 so it'll always be 3 times faster no matter what we change this number to uh, okay so we hit the space and the speed will change and uh, what we need to do with this A key and B key now is we need to change this to be the speed. So we need to drag speed in here. So that way, whenever we click A and D, uh, we're, we're changing by the speed. So we hit green to start, enter the name for the scoreboard, and I hit A and D, and I move forward by 20. Now there's one problem. The A key is not working, and that's because we need this to be negative. We want it to be minus the speed because to change x by to go left, we need to go negative. So to do that, we're gonna to go to operators. Whenever we wanna mess with numbers, we wanna use our operators. And what we want to do is we wanna change the speed by zero minus speed. And if zero minus speed is just another way of saying negative speed. So now when I click A and D, I move left and right, and we can see that it's by 20. We're at negative 36. I go right, it's negative 16. If I go left, we're back at negative 36. And I can change this speed to 15 if I want to. Uh, so 4 plus 15 is 24. Oh, that's plus 20. So I have to hit the green flag to reset speed. And now if I go, boom, 24 plus 15 is 39. 39 minus 15, back to 24. So our A and B keys are working. And now if I click the space bar, boom, I'm moving a lot faster, three times faster. I go from 24 Oh, it didn't. OK, so interesting, it didn't do that. So what we actually need to do is set the variable. Set the variable to three times speed. Oh, you know what? No, okay. <laughs> Go back. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Look at this. It says change my variable by three times speed. We don't want to change the variable. We want to change the speed. There we go. Now we're going a lot faster. So 114. See, we're going way faster now. And then if we hit the space again, we're going even faster. And so this is a, a little bit of a problem now, which is you don't want to be able to click it multiple times in a row. And that's the other part of uh, Amelia's description here. So you will only have 10 seconds to use your power. Okay. Uh, so we need to go to control and we're going to wait 10 seconds. And, and then you can, uh, you can only use it once every round, okay? And only for 10 seconds. Power is limited, you only have 10 seconds to use your power and you can only use it once every round. So you can wait 10 seconds. And now we actually need another variable. So this part's a little bit tricky. We need another variable that says, um, used speed. It's going to be for this sprite only. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that when we start off, we hide the variable used speed. But what we're going to do is whenever we click on the space key, because we can just keep spamming it, and that's going to make us insanely fast. And we want to not be able to spam it. Spam it. So what this variable is going to do is it's going to allow us to create a check. So a check, that's an if statement in our control structure. And we're going we're gonna to put this if right after the space here. And so if the player hasn't used their speed yet and they've hit space, then let's change their speed by three times. But if they already have, then we want to skip that. We don't want space to do anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if and we're going to go to our variable used speed. So if used speed is 
uh, equal to zero. So we're going to say is equal to zero. So if use speed is equal to zero, that means they haven't used the speed yet, and we're going to change their speed. So that means that once they use their speed, we need to go back to our variables and we need to change, as soon as they use it, we need to change used speed to one. So as soon as it's changed to one, it's no longer equal to zero. Uh, it's no longer equal to zero. And that means that it will skip this every time and it will only use be used once. Uh, so then we're going to wait 10 seconds and we need to do one more thing. After 10 seconds, we need to change their speed back down by three. So instead of multiplying by three, we're going to have to divide their, their speed by three. So we're going to change their speed by go to operator. So uh, we're doing a division operation and an operator is the symbols that are used for operations. And what we want to do is we want to take their current speed, which is three times uh, their starting speed, and we want to divide by three. So this is going to say, okay, our starting speed, if it's 10, uh, let's make it, let's make it 10. Three times 10 is 30. We wait 10 seconds, and then their current speed of 30 divided by three goes back to 10. And then the last thing we want to do here is we want to add a stop this script at the end. We never want to leave our scripts hanging open. So what we're going to do is we click on the green flag. We have to type in our name from the scoreboard. We move forward with D. Uh, and we're moving by 10, right? Negative 122, negative 112, negative 102. We're going to click the space bar. This is going to activate our speed boost. And we move forward by 30 and back by 30. You can see that we're moving a lot more now. And this is going to last for 10 seconds. And then it's going to go back. Running around from the murderer. And I'm super fast. And I'm super fast. And I feel like maybe this has gone longer than 10 seconds. Has it gone longer than 10 seconds? Yep. So that means something is wrong. So. Let's figure out what. Uh, all right. So first of all, we need to, when the green flag is clicked, we need to make sure to set the uh, used speed variable to zero. That way, this clicks. And let's watch this very carefully now. So we click the green flag. Type in the name, yay. I'm moving back at my normal 10. I click on the space bar. This is highlighted, so we know that it's running, and it should do this. It should be waiting 10 seconds, and now it just stopped. So it should have just went back, but it didn't. It did not change speed by speed divided by 3. Or did it? It did. We're going even faster. <laughs> okay, so here's what we actually did. Let me go ahead and, and open up uh, Paint really quick to show you the mistake that we're making, that I'm making. We're not making anything. This is all me. Uh, okay. So what's happening is here we're setting speed to 10. Okay. Uh, and then, oh, let's make this bigger. All right, so there we go. So we're setting speed to 10 whenever we hit the green flag. We hit the space bar and it's saying, okay, changed used, uh, changed speed by three times 10. So three times 10 is equal to 30. But this line is saying to change the speed by this much. So what it's actually doing then is doing 10 plus 30. So we're moving by 40 and we're supposed to be moving by 30. So let's go ahead and test to that and make sure we're on to the right problem. So uh, I'm at positive 18. Uh, let me, okay, so I, boom, I click the green flag. I'm at positive 18. I move to 28. Cool. I click the space bar. 
Now 18 to 58. 58 minus 18 is 40. So we are, we're moving by 40, not by 30, like we're supposed to be. So then this next line, change speed by speed divided by three. Well, the current speed is 40. 40 divided by three is roughly equal to what? Uh, 13, 13 with a remainder of one third. So it's saying, okay, change the speed by 13. So now it's saying 40 plus 13 is 53. This is our new speed of how fast we're going. And that's not what we want to do at all. We want this to be 30, and we want this to go back to 10. So instead of changing the speed by a certain number, what we need to do is set the speed. So earlier, I was a little bit onto something, actually, when I said to set the speed. And it's important that I keep these uh, errors in because it doesn't matter how long you've been programming, you will always uh, make mistakes. And that's just part of the process. What matters is that we work through these mistakes and a big part of programming is figuring out why are these errors happening? Why is it not happening like I think? and how I just brought out that paint pad to go through the numbers, that's what uh, you need to try to do things like that as well to figure out, okay, what's behaving not like I think it's behaving? Uh, all right, so we're gonna set the speed to three times the speed. So three times the speed is 30. We're gonna set the speed to 30, and then we're going to set the speed to the speed divided by three. So if the speed, is 30. 30 divided by 3 is 10. We're just going to chunk that code out and we're going to pop that back in here. So we click on the green flag, type in our name for the scorecard, and I'm moving by 10. All right, we're good. So 8 plus 10 is 18, minus 10 is 8. Perfect. I hit the space bar and I should go to 38. Boom, I've gone to 38 and now backwards 30 is to 8. So now I'm moving by 30 which is a lot faster than 10, and it's working like we think. And now it goes down, and I'm at 18, 28, 28 to 18, and it's working. So that's just the small difference of a puzzle piece. Using set instead of change can make a big difference. Uh, but there, uh, that is our speed boost. The last thing that um, Amelia will need to do, so we, we accelerate three times faster. Uh, the power is limited. We only have 10 seconds. We've done all that. We can only use it once every round. So we've done that. We can only use it once every round. That's with our click. If I hit space again and try moving, it's not working because the use speed doesn't equal zero. So the last thing Amelia is going to have to add is whenever she goes to the next round. So whenever she goes to the next round, she's going to need to add um, an event, yeah, there we go, a broadcast. So whenever the stage goes to the next stage, so this will probably be a program that she puts inside the background, which is maybe whenever, uh, whenever the green flag is pressed, maybe she's constantly checking forever if the score, if the player's score is equal to a certain number, okay? So if the player's score, let's say greater than 50, we'll keep that there under operator. So if the player's score is greater than 50, let's say that's when she wants to change the background or change the round, I mean, not change the background, change the round. So then she needs to broadcast a message. So if the score is greater than 50, she's going to broadcast a new message that says next round or next level right? Maybe we do next level uh, for some of the other games. So this is going to say, this is a condition for whenever she reaches a score greater than 50, the next level happens. Now with this, the backdrops can say, whenever I receive um, next level, you want to change, this is a look, so you switch the backdrop to whichever backdrop you want to have. Uh, we'll just say the next backdrop is the next level. And then uh, whenever I receive next level, the backdrop 
needs to, or the player needs to, uh, this is the event, whenever I receive next level, we want to set use speed back to zero. That way it resets the cooldown, okay? So that's the last thing to add, is to set use speed back to zero. That will give them the power up back. Uh, we could also add something here, right? We could add one last thing. Maybe they try using their power up whenever they don't have it. And so we say, instead of an if then, uh, we could say if then else. And what this means is we're just going to put all this stuff in the if. This is exactly what we had before. Oh, oops. Uh, okay. I'm going to try that thing. There we go. All right. So drag that in there. Um, da, da, da. Cool. Okay. So this is exactly what we had before with the if statement. If use speed equals zero, then do all that stuff to give us the movement speed buff. But what happens else? if the use speed does not equal zero. Do we want something else to happen? Well, maybe we do. Maybe we want to add in looks, and we want to say for two seconds, uh, speed cooldown, a uh, speed on cooldown. So this is us communicating to the player, hey, you already used your speed boost for the round. So watch this. So uh, let's go ahead. Uh, let's test all this stuff. So I'm going to add in one more thing. You do not add this to your code. Uh, I'm going to add in uh, this right arrow key. So this right arrow key is how I'm going to trigger uh, this broadcast message. I'm going to broadcast next level. So normally you wouldn't have when the right key is pressed at the next level. You want the score to reach 50. But since this isn't a score feature, our score isn't going up to 50. Uh, so we're going to manually kind of trick the program into thinking it's the next level. That way we can test, that way that we can test that we're able to use our speed again. So let's start from the beginning. We hit the green flag, type in our name. We can now move back and forth. I use the space key. And now I'm moving really fast. And notice it does not say speed on cooldown. It gives us the speed boost because we currently have it. It's not yet on cooldown. We're moving back and forth. Oh, we're back to being slow. And we haven't hit the next level yet, but I'm going to try to hit space again. Now it says speed on cooldown every time that I try using it afterwards. Now we want to make sure that it gets off of cooldown on the next level. So we click the right arrow key, the background switches. That was our clue that we've switched to the next level. And now if I hit the space key again, I'm back to moving really fast. And it doesn't say that the speed is on cooldown. It's completely reset the speed buff for every level. Now we're back to slow. I hit space again, speed on cooldown. So there we go. That is how you add the speed buff.